Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and in today's video we're going to be talking about five common mistakes that people make when laser machining. Let's get into it. The biggest mistake that I see across the board is people are not taking the time to figure out the material settings for their machine. They're always trying to just get somebody to tell them the settings they need. They will spend three hours searching forums and three hours, you know, asking questions to people, but they won't spend the same amount of time just playing with material to figure out what settings work best on their machine. Now, if you've ever ran a laser machine, two machines that are identical wattages, but sit in different places will behave slightly differently. That means my 60 watt machine from Epilogue will be very different from say a 60 watt Chinese machine. And it can even be different than another 60 watt Epilogue. It's just what happens within the tubes and the machines and the setups, the mirror alignments, all of that. So it's very important that you spend the time to figure out how to find settings for a material and then actually burn and learn using your material. Don't worry about screwing up. You need to take the time to make mistakes on material to figure out what settings look best to you. The second most common mistake is forgetting to focus your laser head to your material. And I'm guilty of this as well. I will boot up my machine and I will assume that it's at the same height as something I did before. And I'll go to start the machine and run the job and figure out that I didn't adjust the height. This is a very common mistake. Usually it's because I'm just in a hurry and I'm not paying attention. More often than not, most of these mistakes are because I'm just not paying attention. So when I say adjusting your height, I'm talking about your focal length. So if you have, uh, you know, if you're using sheet material versus cutting boards versus whatever it is, just make sure that when you are going to start a job that you did focus your material properly or you're not going to get the right effect. Now there may be times when you don't want to be completely in focus and you want to be out of focus, but when you are setting up your jobs, just do a quick checklist through your mind of, hey, I put the material in, I focused it to the right height, am I good to go before I hit that go button? I've wasted a lot of material just because I didn't spend that extra 30 seconds to make sure I adjusted the height properly. The number three most common mistake that I see across the board is having dirty optics and lenses. So this would be your mirrors and your lens or pretty much anything in the pathway of the beam that will cause you to get bad engravings. I see a lot of people that will run the machines and think that just because there's you know, bellows on the side to try to keep dirt and dust out of the edges, that their mirrors and things will automatically stay clean. And that's not the case. You need to routinely clean your mirrors and lenses to keep them working well. The more you clean them, the better. Uh, I usually clean them about once a week. If you are running it really hard every day, you might want to do it every day just kind of depends on your usages and what you're machining. Some materials put off a lot more residue than others. So keep that in mind as well. The fourth most common mistake that I see is if somebody is using mirror acrylic or they're trying to cut on the backside of something or engrave on the backside of something, they don't flip the design in the software to compensate for that as well. So they'll end up actually machining the design backwards from what it should have been because they forgot to mirror it. This is especially important in mirror acrylic because you can only engrave the backside of mirror acrylic and make it look really good. Uh, so just keep in mind that if you're working with materials like mirror acrylic or you wanna engrave the back of say clear acrylic that you do flip that design to get it to come out right side up or right side forward. Before I jump into the fifth one, 
I do want to mention my laser community, Lasers Made Simple. If you are interested, it is absolutely free. Go to lasersmadesimple.com slash community. There you can interact with other people, post what you're working on, get questions answered for things you're struggling with. And on top of that, if you are interested in the membership, I do have a membership at lasersmadesimple.com slash membership. It's in the same area as the community where I have access to group lives. You can join group lives. I also have courses in there that I'm building up. So you'll get access to those with uh, videos on how to make items. There's also a new section coming out uh, with more projects that are going to be coming for people to make on their own. Again, if you're interested, everything is at lasersmadesimple.com. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can put those in the comments below. Now, the fifth most common mistake that I see is not having a level bed in your laser. Now, some lasers don't really have a bed adjustment built in to the laser. You might have to rig something up. But on an epilogue, you can adjust each corner of the bed independently. What this means is your focal gauge, once you find your focal height, your focal gauge, when you are touching the top left corner of your bed, should be able to touch in the bottom left, the top right, and the bottom right corner of the bed. If any one of those corners is not touching that focal gauge of yours, then it is not level. There is a way to adjust each corner independently to get it to be level. Things that you might see if your bed is not level are inconsistent engravings across the table. So it might engrave really well on the left side and then it might fade and not look as good on the right side. Uh, or same thing could happen, the top looks really good but then the bottom kind of fades. You might also notice that it cuts really well in say the bottom left corner but the top right corner doesn't cut really well. These can be a combination of things but bed level, mirror alignment, and mirror cleanliness and lens cleanliness all play into those kind of issues that you might see. So if you're starting to see things like inconsistent engravings or you're not getting a consistent cut, then you might wanna look at first cleaning your optics, but definitely check to make sure that your bed is level. This is very, very important with super thin materials like laser magnetic materials or multiply acrylics. But that's gonna do it for this video, super short and sweet. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any ideas for future videos, put those in the comments below and I will do my best to make videos about those. But I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.